Hello friends, good evening. Today I am going to cover an interesting module and features which are developed by our favorite Podu Community Association and its partner companies. So last time uh, we have checked how OCA modules, a free module library can help a lot of business. And today I am going to talk about point of sale related free modules available which can ease anyone's life, any business life who are on, you know, are doing their business using point of sale inside Udo. And current version is version 16 where I can find most of the available modules where we are going to discuss default uh, uh, feature available like set default partner, uh, like version 17, how you can uh, get quick info of your product, whether products are available right now in warehouse or not on the product card. Then, you know, uh, creating sales order inside POS, you know, and then uh, getting into the normal uh, sales order line, then uh, creating a global discount line, a one line, not every product line discount. And then uh, stock available to promise kind of thing. And then default product code can be displayed over there and edit POS line. So these are the features. Let's see one by one. So I am on the screen. So very first change you can see like version 17. Once I click, I can see all the warehouse information where it is and then here also where are available stocks otherwise I have to go here now it's available on the card and then uh, when I want to add a discount normally what Odoo does is it, it uh, create discount per line but here I can add directly global discount on top okay. and uh, the customers you know I can set the default customer over here so how we can achieve that? Let's see one by one. So I discard this, I am closing this and taking you into the backend setting. So I am closing this menu, going to the backend of Odoo. Over here, I will go to configuration and where you find allow editorial lines, which is important feature, display product code. Like let's see the products and its code. So this product code will be displayed beside the product in POS also. Then uh, let's see the configuration again. So here is my configuration. And I can say like a discount in line, which is default product. But when I uh, install that module, I can allow a direct discount. Then uh, I can set other features like additional warehouses where I need to show the quantity. So once I set my warehouse to warehouse three quantity, I can set it over here and then I can create a sales order line from the back end. So these are the features I have configured right now and then I'm going to launch my POS. So I'm going into dashboard, starting my session. So see here, open session. See, this information are now available on the product cart. In other warehouse, how many units I have. Okay. And then in customers, the default customer is there. So when I am making a payment, cash payment, the customer, default customer will be there. So which, let us see. Point of sale, it's configuration. So this default customer is to use if none is set. So this is my default customer, which I'm going to use always. Okay, so I'm setting that and processing my order. Okay, so this is how it will be processed when I go to new order. These are the features I have on hand. Now let's say I have added this many product line and I want to edit anything. Then so I have to go here and make any addition. Okay. But here, when you see edit order lines, it is opening a very important view for us. It's like directly, I can edit and update price. I can edit and update discounts. See this. So how you can easily make order line addition directly inside it. And then it will make the necessary updates inside the line. So this is a cool feature we have. Now, if I want to create a quotation, I can go over here. That is a default feature. 
and then when I say orders, this order is there and then let me close this so I have one order in process this number 14.46 and close this session so now I am going into setting again So create draft sales order, create delivery sales order are part of it. So these are the orders which are already posted and then there is no order right now. So let me go inside the POS again, starting my session. I am opening the session. I say quotation and order. So there is no quotation which is you know backend feature which we have normally and then I add customer and once I add my customer I can create my order and then here is the information how can I do so let me change and create a new customer customer one where I am preparing my order and creating order so create draft or confirm so I say create draft sales order and that order will push to my backend now if I come back to my backend, see this order is coming over here with all the lines coming over here, whatever I want to make. So I can create a direct order from POS, but then plan my normal delivery or any, uh, you know, the shipment of consignment over here using that module. So these are the cool features uh, I wanted to show which can ease your life. So definitely uh, default partner stock availability in the card, you know, this uh, US order to sell order, then display default code, then edit order line and product quick info are uh, the features which you can find on OCA library, which I will put in my uh, video comments. So you can download and use in your Odoo version 16. Let's wait when Odoo 17 has these uh, modules available. Hope this will, uh, video will help many people to configure POS setup with this uh, cool free available library of modules and is their life. Thank you.